everyone. So, we got a special motherfucking reading today, right? This reading is specifically for my narcissist, the one I've been dealing with for the past few years. Not my person, though. My person is a greater narcissist. This is a lesser one, right? And before we start this reading, there are a few things I want to say to this person. First of all, I want to thank you for all of the bullshit you've put me through. I want to thank you for everything you've said about my children, all the horrible things. I want to thank you for isolating me from everybody I thought who actually gave a shit about me and showed me who they really were. I want to thank you for making me realize that like my self-worth was not based on what you thought I was. It took me a long time to get to that. Today you did something really fucked up. And I fucking laughed at you. Which was, like, I was kind of surprised that, like, you were still trying to, um... I don't know, like... I guess... I don't know, man. It's just kind of like... I, like, I'm not even angry at you anymore for what you've done to me. I'm not even, like... <laughs> like, I, I, like I, I can't not thank you because if you hadn't done the shit you did I wouldn't be the person I am today I managed to find my intuition because of you I managed to find my own self worth because of you I learned a lot about myself because of the bullshit you put me through which is I don't have to put up with people like you you're not worth my time or my patience I don't know, man, like, I, I, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without you. Like, if, if you hadn't, uh, it, like, you know, it, like, I don't like, you know, it, uh, how can I put this? You know, for the longest time, get off my cards, cobwebs. I have multiple spiders living in my house now. But I think that's like just the universe being like, hey, we got your backs and shit. Right? But, I, like, that's what I gotta say to you, man. If it wasn't for you, I don't think I'd be able to have as much strength and power as I do now. And I can't thank you enough. And you've just entered your Saturn return. And, you know, even people I don't like. Or people who I think are... Is that crooked? That is crooked as fuck. Damn. Jesus Christ. Hold on. I need to stand up because, like, my OCD's... Okay. That's better. Anyway. Like, I can't... I, like, I don't hate you. I, but I don't like you neither. You know? But if it was not for you, I would not... have the power the strength and the intuition and the ability to do whatever it is I do. But unfortunately, my dear, while you're in your Saturn return, you're going in your own fucking time out. Much as what I did very recently. You know, these past three years, you have put me through a lot of fucking shit. And I have to say, I held a lot against you, but at this point, I can't even do that anymore. Like, the Rixon won't even allow me to do that. Like... If it hadn't been for you, I would not be where I am now. You were purposely put here so I would learn something. You're not my masculine. You're not my person. But you played a great, significant role in my life and my growth and my experience in this goddamn game. Oh, everybody, I lost the game. You can think early 2000s for that. So I'm reading this for you. Because you're going to need the information. Mind you, I know you watch my shit. Like, you look at my shit at least four or five times a day. And I, and I only know this because, you know, my, like I have my shit set up to where I can see who looks at my stuff. Yeah, I know you've been watching me for a while. But that's okay.
I don't really mind you doing that at all. Uh, it's actually a good thing that you've done this. Because if you hadn't, I'd probably be screwed in life, you know? So I'm very fortunate. And I'm really happy that um, you did all this shit to me, right? So thank you for that. And thank you for trying to ruin my life to make yourself look more like a victim rather than being a friend. I forgot to put all that stuff in the fridge. Two seconds, everybody. God damn it. I got, like, my husband, like, a fucking burrito and shit. Oh my god, the pork's so delicious. There we go. Anyway, everybody else, timestamp for the reading is 620. So, we're gonna start this shindig. Right? Right. Alright, not now, Karen. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Like I, like, I love you, Karen, but not today. I got shit to do. Anyway, my dear, beautiful narcissist. Oh. What do you got for you? Seven of Pentacles. You're still in luck, but we got the Eight of Swords reverse. We got the thoughts and feelings where you are the magician. Reverse. With the root of that is the Four of Swords reverse. Right? We got the Eight of Cups reverse. You just can't let something go, can ya? Hmm, I wonder what that is. <laughs> I wonder. I absolutely wonder, right? Seven of Cups. Hierophant reverse. You got a lot of reversals, man. Just saying. And your vibration. The Knight of Wands, right? You aren't doing much of anything. You aren't going to battle, but you are running your fucking mouth. Surprise. By the way, I'm really shocked at, like, what you've done recently. But I know exactly what you're doing because you did the exact same thing to me. So, just letting you know, I know the game you're playing. And if I ever get the opportunity to talk to you-know-who, I'ma do it. And I'ma help them out, too. You know. I might be a bitch. I might not be a nice person. But I am a kind person and I care. You have a lot of problems, dude. A lot of problems coming to you. Like, just right here in these feelings. Like, what are you... You feel like manipulating shit? Because I'll tell you right now, you've already pushed your buttons once. You've already got another person fi having you figured out, you know? It's not a good idea to try to fuck over a Virgo. Because once you do, they start looking at everything you do. You know, my mother's a Virgo. I know. And they don't let shit go very easy. They're worse than Capricorns. They don't forgive for nothing. At all. <laughs> oh, my dear. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's begin this, shall we? Because I'm looking at this just being like, mm. But I am serious, though. I, I, I am really happy that you did the shit you did. Because if you didn't, I don't think I would have known better, dude. Anyway. Ah! Okay. First three cards, right? Okay. So, what do I got for you? You got the Seven of Pentacles right here. You're using your alchemy, your magic, your wits, your charms. Um... I don't know, you're cooch if you got to, man. Like, whatever it is that you can get done, you can. 
as you will you know a relationship has died because you've been suck okay <laughs> oh wow whoa what hold up okay we're like look we got this we got this right this seven of pentacles right here right yes i know gretchen but like look at right look, i need you to look bitch because i need both of you bitches to look right just look at it right actually you know what gretchen can go here or I can go on this one. There we go. Gretchen's right over on this new moon, right? And Cora's on the crescent moon. I gotta dry the Gibsons on the other side. I haven't gotten this opened yet, mind you. But anyway. Um. Let's see. You've been sapping the tree for money right and now that shit's done and over with you thought you were established because you know you acted like a child in order to get your way sorry Cora I didn't mean to shove you a little bit it just happened bitch not that you're a bitch but I'm just letting you know that's how I dress all my bitches mm. mind you this is also your Saturn return too so you're just gonna have to deal with that dude right Nothing I can do to help you. You, like, I, I've been saying many a times because I know you've been watching my shit. That full moon in Scorpio was your time. After that, I can no longer help you. Anyway. That's how you've been getting your shit done, using that magic of yours in order to suck the shit out, right? What, Karen? True, true bitch. Okay. I love Karen. She's my Karen Scorpio cusp. She just talks a lot. <laughs> anyway, Eight of Swords Reverse. Um, not releasing yourself from that horrible energy. Like, usually I'd be like, eh, it's not bad, but, like, there's pressure coming in, and it's like emotions are running high. Right? Because pipe dream. You got pipe dreams that you've manipulated on your own. In order to make yourself feel a little bit more emotionally satisfactory. Like a school grade. That S that they write on report cards being like, satisfactory. It's not an A. It's just enough. You know, <laughs> you're kind of um under pressure with that because now that's all just going down the drain. It looks like it's all a little wet dream. All that shit, right? Shit you manipulated in order to get people to make you feel like you're a little bit better. We got the magician reverse over here again, just like this. Like someone trying, like you're basically trying to make your candle shine brighter than the sun, and that does not work because that's the only way you know how to make yourself feel better, right? All your manipulative tactics, and there you are up here, and your thoughts and feelings still feeling like you know, if I do this just a little bit more, like people will start coming my way. And let me tell you, you're definitely a narcissist, right? You're a lesser narcissist though. My person, my masculine, she is a greater narcissist and she has my fucking respect because she knew how to do it the right way you know she actually had the mentality and the means and the ability to do something she was kind of crazy when it came to respect because i don't think she understands the respect is earned not given but that narcissist has my goddamn respect she's a lot smarter than you a little bit more inexperienced but she's smarter than you like, because I'm letting you know, dude, you will never be my person. Ever. All your manipulations have you stuck, and you don't even realize you did. Like, you're the one in the corner up here. You see the dude up here dressed in the same shit as you are? You did it to yourself. And now you're trying to look for a way to get out of the situation? Mind you, you're in your Saturn return. You just entered it. If not last year, this year, and now everything you've done 
is coming back on you. It doesn't help that you show that the timeline shifted now and they're getting sealed. You should have fucking just confessed your bullshit sins and just got it over with, dude. If you think you can offer minimal, it'll help you. And whoa, well, actually it'll bring like enemies in your house. It'll make you think that you're a victor, but all these people who are celebrating with you, no, no. They'll turn shit against you very quickly. The root of those feelings is because you feel like you can't rest and recuperate, right? You're not trying to go to resurrect yourself, refresh yourself, all of that jazz. You're too busy worried about a king of pentacles. That's not me. That is not me. But I know who that is. And that person kept you under lock and key. Ooh. Because they knew who, exactly how you were. Mmm, my dear, my dear. You, like, you weren't able to rest. It looks like you got yourself in a terrible fucking mess, little miss uh, wannabe narcissist. And you don't even realize you did it. You have fucked yourself. What is it? Asa Direct says, like, you look for me in all sorts of people, but you will never find me? What's this Nine of Wands vibration all about? Why are you just sitting on the sidelines instead of going into battle? Why don't you, why, why aren't you joining the fight? Why, why aren't you? Why aren't you? Oh, you're turning your back, acting like you're being kosher, but really you're being a scored woman. You're all sad because you didn't get your way. You're acting like you're a fool for everybody. You're just playing everybody's fool. Everybody plays the fool. Sometimes. No exception to the rule. That's fucking work. Nobody's working with you anymore. Like, you're just sitting there. Okay, that's exactly what, what happened today. And mind you, I'm being very careful with what I'm saying because I know that as soon as you see this, you're going to try to say that it's about you. Your problem is you're going to have to confess to everything I'm saying in here. And let me tell you, all the shit you did to me, all the shit you said about my children, all of the things that you've done to me in the last three years, you'd have to confess to in order to say that this is about you. So be very careful, because, uh, you know, I do have recordings, and no, it's not, it, I didn't record them, everybody else did for me, you know. What's that Pantera song, how does it go, like, uh, uh, all your friends tell me what you say, uh, so what do you do, or some shit like that. I can't remember exactly how the lyrics go, you know, but it's something along those lines. Like, your friends tell me exactly what the fuck you say. They even take the courtesy of recording the things you say about me. Which is amazing. And absolutely funny. So be very careful. Don't bring this shit up unless you want to actually, like, explain some things. Like, missing money and numbers and feuds or why some people have been getting sick as of late. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to have to explain any of that shit. Nine of, or not nine, eight. Eight of cups reversed. You want to emotionally let go, but you can't. There's still something making you hang on. And that's because your home is broke. You are broke, right? Realizing that, uh, you know, maybe, uh, can you see that? Barely, but you can still see it. Um, realizing that some people are way too different than another. Incompatibility, really, and the lack of patience with that incompatibility. Um, although that love is still in question, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what I figured. You know, I, I like. I just want to tell you, just this one thing. I just want to tell you this one thing. If you keep ending up in the same scenario with different people, the common denominator is you. You can't keep blaming everybody else for leaving when you make them want to leave. That's all I gotta say. You know, people have enough self-respect not to put up with someone's bullshit. 
seven of cups because you know I don't care <laughs> uh, you're trying to fill an emotional void somewhere right um, trying to I feel like summon some spirit or whatever and summon somebody in who you're wanting um, but that person has been waiting for you um, they don't they don't care anymore you're trying to summon them in naked and all like a fucking jaybird right and they're in their house all happy and cozy and be like you know what I don't even care about this bitch no more like fucker you know and you can easily release yourself from that you've just been playing victim a lot more actually Gretchen you're gonna go on this one there you go that way you and your daughter face each other I actually like that I think I'm gonna start doing that I'm gonna put the both of them on the board it looks a lot better to me. Anyway, um, you've tried to do things that worked for you before, but unfortunately, like, that, no. No, 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 no. So you want to try to turn your back on things emotionally, act like, oh, it's not a big deal. That's the wrong idea, and you know that, and you know that that's not going to bring your world into reality. But what do I know? I just work here. <laughs> For anybody else watching, I'm sorry that I'm being so mean, but I have a reason to be. You know, it's one thing to uh, go after me. It's another thing when you try to use my kids against me to make me feel like shit. And this person does not have as much sympathy for me as most people would. You know, Eck is more of a nicer person than this person right here. Ba 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 ba. The Hierophant Reverse. Someone's praying to God, but they are also ignoring God at the same time, being like, I can solve my own problems. I don't need this. I know what I'm doing. When in reality, you really don't know what you're doing, right? And the person you've been dealing with, is like, they're the captain of the ship, and they will sink that ship and everybody on it just to watch you drown. That's the kind of person you've been dealing with, and you didn't realize it. You didn't realize they had that much passion and anger and vitriol behind them. Which I told you they did to begin with, but you know, let's not listen to me. You know? You're trying to keep your emotions steady, but unfortunately, those who you bested are going to outbest you in the end. Like, they're on their hands and knees now, but eventually they're going to run away from you and you're going to be like, oh, wait, what the fuck? What happened? Right? Right. Exactly. That's usually how it goes. That's always how it goes. You can't just treat people like shit. And then expect them to stick around for you. Like, like the Queen of Cups already tells me you were trying to act like you were emotionally stable. But that's not the case. Now, there was a relationship right here, but you also probably had one choice over the other. With an offer coming here right now. Hmm. Apparently you chose one person over the other and took the one that looked like they were the most valuable, and now you're regretting that. You know. So now you're searching for somewhere else to offer your love to, right? Unfortunately, no. Saturn Return says, fuck that bitch. Uh, you're going to be paranoid for a while, whether you want to be or not. Which has got you all in your feelings, and you know exactly why you are in your feelings. You're probably plotting some shit, too. Being all nettled and shit. You are expecting a victory in all of this, right? Because of the decisions you've made. Thinking that you were going to be in control of everything. And yet, all you've done is put yourself in bad situation after bad situation. Trying to keep your secrets. Trying to get what you wished for behind it. And now you're finding yourself stuck in a rut. Where you can't get anything started. You know. You're trying to hold on, be nice while you hold back that beast that's actually inside of you, but you're not taking a leap of faith anywhere. Still waiting for something to show up in your case in order to make you a fucking trophy wife. And unfortunately, as you look back at all of this shit, you realize that balance was absolutely needed 
in order to release you from this mental bondage you have. But now, swiftly, the madness comes. Mahaha! And you're gonna have to answer for all your sneaky shit because you're not trying to cut it out anytime soon. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That, that's what's coming up for you. That's the basis of your Saturn return. So, I don't know what to tell you, man, other than, like, you know, um... What? Okay. Anyway, but I don't know what to tell you. I wish you the best of luck. I don't hate you. I promise you that, but I don't like you either. And I really don't care who you showed us to either. Like, you, you gotta have to, uh... You, you, like, everybody already knows, but you're definitely gonna have to prove to anybody who doesn't know that this is about you. Which I really don't fucking care what you show people anymore. Like, you're, you're really not that important right now. What you say isn't that significant, and what you can say about me really doesn't matter after you went and fucked the only person who was protecting you over. Good luck trying to get back in the good graces of somebody like um, an earth, uh, of, a, of an earth sign because that shit's hard to do. You know, earth signs are practical, and we practically know once you once we let someone fuck us over once, once should be enough. You might be in luck though. Who knows? But that is your reading, my dear. And remember, you're not my person. My person can do it way better than you. That'll give her a little bit of ego boost, but you know what? Who gives a shit? It really doesn't matter, because I neither of you two are around me at this point, and neither of you two have any influence in my life. Hell, you could try to fuck up everything I do right now, and it really wouldn't make a fucking difference. Like, the manipulation's already gonna be fucked before you even try, so I don't know, man. Good luck to you, though! Because it's going to be a rough four years for you. Actually, um, seven. You're getting seven. You're getting seven years. Most people get three to four. You're getting seven. And you know why seven... Like, I, I, like and I'm not even going to explain it to everybody. You know why seven is a very important number. But that's okay. You have fun with that, man. I hope you have a good life. I really do, because you're going to need it after these next seven years. Take it easy. Don't let it get sleazy. And don't worry, you'll get out of this just fine. Just like everybody else does. Just remember, this is all the game. That's the best advice I have for you. And that's the last time I'm ever going to help you. You have a good time. Bye-bye.